Hallo zusammen! Today I, a German native speaker and language teacher here on YouTube, will react to Christoph Waltz giving Jimmy Fallon a German words quiz. I'm really curious about this and uh, I haven't seen it, so this is gonna be a first time reaction. Let's do it! I love this first still here. <laughs> Before we're gonna watch this, one quick thing. His German pronunciation is Christoph Waltz. In English you would say Christoph Waltz, but it's Waltz with an A. And keep in mind he is German-Austrian or Austrian-German. His mother is Austrian and his father is German. Why do I say that? Because even though people in Austria also speak German, it's a specific variation of German. Which means people in Austria also use other terms or other forms of words than Germans would use. So there might be differences in this word quiz that are like more related to Austrian German. I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, the, the big uh, game was last night, Super Bowl. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Super what? <laughs> Do you care about the football or the Super Bowl? I know nothing about football, nor do I care to find out. I hate to say this, but, uh, well, I'm not like exactly feeling the same because I'm also curious when it comes to other kinds of sports. And I know that American football, of course, he's talking about not the German Fußball, which is also called football or soccer in America. I don't know too much about that one. I've made one video about American football rules and I was totally confused. Like I really have to, well, get a, a different, a second glimpse at that sport at some point. I, I feel him from the people that I know. They usually watch the Super Bowl because it's an, a big event and that's it. Okay, so look, um, you're always doing the games. Sit here. I sit there. Okay. okay. He's like the boss in the room. You can already tell. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> oh my God. He has a natural presence in the room, I feel. I mean, I don't know him personally, but he just has an aura, a presence. I guess in a way he can be very commanding in a very charming way. He always seems to be the same. Like it's just his persona, I think, his personality. Look, you, you always play games and-, yes. and um, Are you gonna you know, wear your glasses? And... Oh, I can wear them? And you look, you look it, good in glasses. I, I, I wanted to, to turn it around this time. Fancy, fancy. I thought I'd quiz you a little bit on um, your knowledge of the German language. <laughs> it's and up there with yours in football, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to test your knowledge on long German words. Yes. Classic. This is a big hit show in, uh, in Germany. Mm. Long German words. Mm. <laughs> that would not be a big German hit show. Long German words are common. It's one of the most common linguistic things we have in the German language. And, you know, it also gives us the possibility to really create and make up long words on the fly. Like in a split second, I could come up with like a long compound word that I might only use once, but still because of the grammatic rules that apply to it, like the last part usually determines the gender. So you know which article you have to use, for instance, pretty much all Germans will understand that newly formed term immediately. And that is so cool about compound words. And because they are so common, they would probably not be the sole focus of a German like TV, hit show, quiz show, whatever. Long German words. <laughs> All right. Longer, longer, longer. <laughs> yeah. So sit Pinkler. I give you I give you multiple choices. Uh, the urge to steal things or make loud noises when intoxicated. <laughs> or B a man who pees sitting down. Now it's your turn. Giving you five seconds to guess. Well, was that five seconds? I hope so. A masculine noun, by the way. Der Sitzpinkler. Singular. Die Sitzpinkler. Plural. It's a compound term consisting of Sitz, which relates to the German verb sitzen, and der Pinkler, which sort of is a colloquial term. There isn't, it isn't really like a a formal term, let me put it this way. It's the sitting P 
peeing person, like the sitting peer, peer. So yeah, <laughs> cool term. Interesting choice, Christoph. Appreciate it. Sit pinkler. Sit pinkler. I, I would say, uh, although the sitting down peeing is an enjoyable thing, I would say it is uh, A, of course. No, it's a, sorry. Is sorry. that? No, it's a man sitting uh, down peeing. But yeah. <laughs> Also, you might have noticed when Jimmy Fallon pronounced that term, he did something that is really common and correct, by the way, for all German terms with the suffix er, er, because that one gets pronounced like an a ah sound, like a German a, ah, the vowel a, ah, so to speak. So it wouldn't be Sitzpinkler, but it would be Sitzpinkler. Ah, Sitzpinkler. And he did a great job there. Sit pinkla. He guessed the wrong answer, but still. Longer! <laughs> the more formal term would be urinieren, but apart from like really formal or posh situations, no German would use that. Even more vulgar, slang German, pissen. You might also have heard this one in the phrase verpiss dich, piss off. <laughs> Yeah, that was nothing, like two parts, compound words. Wald Einsamkeit. Okay, so A, the experience of wandering around alone in the forest and being overcome with a sense of woodland solitude. <laughs> or, <laughs> or B, the overwhelming urge to build a wall even when it does not seem like a reasonable thing to do. <laughs> What is the word again? Wald Einsamkeit. It's a beautiful word. It is a beautiful word. Even though, and that is a big difference to the first one, der Sitzpinkler, die Waldeinsamkeit, is not a daily word at all. It is a compound word, of course, which is sort of the topic of this video, but it it, it is... I have never used that. I don't think or I couldn't think of any German that I know that has ever used this, but still it works. It is a it is a valid German term and it also follows along the grammatical system, the grammatical structures of the German language. In this case, what I've said before, the last part determines the gender. So it's die Einsamkeit, the loneliness or uh, solitude. And because that is a feminine noun, die Einsamkeit, the whole compound term, die Waldeinsamkeit, is also feminine. Der Wald, singular. Die Wälder, plural. The forest or the woods. The, the, the forest loneliness. A, the one, man who wanders around the woods Correct. and finds the Very good. Very good. Bravo. Okay. Yep. Third word. All right, here we go. Longer. 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 I just imagine Germans doing that, like having a show with that, like, oh, längere Wörter, längere Wörter, longer words, longer words, right? It, it would be a, <laughs> uh, just a strange show from a German perspective. Bezirks Schornstein Fegermeister. <laughs> a, the, the head the chimney sweep of the governing, governing district or B, the experience of seeing someone who looks pretty from behind, but not from the front. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say the, word, the words again? Bezirk Schornstein Fegermeister. Fegermeister. There certainly is a slightly Aus Austrian German slang in there, which I like, I love that sound. Fiegermeister. Uh, by the way, I've made another video about Austrian German specifically and Austrian German words where I reacted to my YouTube colleague Kapuzenwurm, great guy by the way. So if you wanna check that out, feel free to do that. In the end card, it's linked there. This one is special because it is pretty much compound wordception. The first part of this one would be der Bezirk, the district. 
Die Bezirke, plural. Flavored with an additional S. The second part would be der Schornsteinfeger. That is the whole middle part. That is one word that we have in German, which itself is a compound word. So it's pretty much compound word, compound word, compound wordception in this case. Der Schornstein, the chimney, and der Feger, der Schornsteinfeger itself is a compound word. And then you could also say, okay, the last part is der Meister, singular, die Meister, plural, the master. Masculine nouns, all of them. Der Bezirksschornsteinfegermeister, the district chimney cleaner master. Translated literally. The answer is, drum roll, B. No. Yes. <laughs> Why would I guess that? It I'm actually is the head chimney sweep of the governing district. What I loved about this one was that Christoph Waltz is in it. All of those three words were compound words, but all of them were different in the popularity, in if they get used regularly. With the third one, it's compound word, compound word, compound word, exception. This video pretty much shows a huge part of the magic of the German language in a nutshell. Feel free to leave a like, to comment down what you think about this, if you guessed all of them right or not. Feel free to share this video as well with others that might be interested in this, because that is the best way to support this channel, apart from, you know, becoming a patron, for instance, and supporting me on patreon.com slash vlogdave. Highly appreciated, of course. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm your vlogdave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.